Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid, picking up here uh, December 4th, so a couple days since our last episode. We're going to continue pushing towards West Point today down the highway. I uh, just wanted to start off in our garden here to show you that uh, our uh, next crop of things to harvest, our potatoes, should be coming along soon. Uh, I guess we still got uh, three stages of growth on this one. It does have Devil's Water Fungi, not much we can do there. Uh, I guess luckily uh, for that we haven't had much rain since uh, the initial rain when I planted these. Uh, so yeah, maybe it's still f um, several days away. I thought they might be a bit closer there. Uh, we're going to be using some blunt weapons today because I haven't used those very much uh, recently. So we've got a baseball bat uh, equipped primary right now. And I do have, let's see here, a shovel as well in our backpack. So... Those are going to be our weapons of choice today. I did, in between episodes, get our level 2 long blunt uh, skill. So we are now level 2 in long blunt. Uh, we are close to level 2 in long blade. I don't think we'll be using that today, though. And spear is getting pretty close. We're two-thirds of the way to level 5. So uh, we do have a spear in our backpack, should we choose to use it. I've also, oh, I'll just quickly show you here. Uh, I went back down to Dixie and grabbed ourselves an oven here. So I actually cooked our first meal, cabbage and uh, I think it was so bolognese. I think that's what it was, cabbage and bolognese sauce. So our first home cooked meal at the gas station. Let's uh, head on down the road. I think some zombies have moved in uh, since I was last down here. Uh, when we were last down here together, we didn't quite make it to the turn in the road right before West Point. Uh, we were going to pick that up today. Uh, in between episodes, I did fight my way down to the turn of the road. But I think some zombies have filled their way in in the meantime. So let's quickly pop a beta blocker. Get our panic under control. There we go. And we're carrying a bit of a heavy load here. Let's just move maybe our food to the seat. And we'll put our backpack on the seat as well. And we should start seeing some ragtag zombies just up ahead here. Yeah. So we'll start by clearing these off. Clearing these out. See one coming up behind us in the woods. I figured since there's so many zombies for us to clear out on the highway, we might as well get some XP and uh, a weapon we don't have high level in yet. Hence the long blunt weapons today. I've already gone through one baseball bat, clearing these out. I'll just turn on our AC, try and keep Gerald cool. Oh, I should have checked our water before we left, but luckily we are working with a full bottle. It's going to leave the car running as we do this. I did fill up the car once already. So it may be worth us going back to that rail yard to grab that standard gas tank for a sports car. So I just filled it up and we're already three quarters. So we are going through fuel pretty quick. Hopefully we get to set eyes on West Point today. Also stopped uh, worrying about the jackets for the most part. I got a lot of leather strips back at the gas station, so I'm not too worried there. Okay, here's our first big group. If things start getting too hairy, we will switch out to another weapon. 
try and do as much as we can with the basal batch. Just takes a bit longer with a weapon we don't have a high skill in. If we ever need to come back for more leather strips, we'll, we'll know that this highway will have a lot of jackets. Okay, let's get back in the car here. That was a pretty big group, though. Let's see what else we got. And one of the bonuses of using blunt, long blunt weapons is we'll be able to salvage some clothes, hopefully. Uh, thought I could get a kill in there, not quite. We'll probably tire ourselves out a lot faster. Using the baseball backs, it, we're not getting those quick kills that we are used to. Staying ahead of this crawler. I think I saw a cop in there, yeah. No guns, no ammo though. Have a cigarette. We should go cool down the car. Oh, I also found a West Point map. So we do have one of those. We'll be able to mark locations off as we get to them. Let's take a look at the uh, map right now. So, this is where I got to in between episodes, this corner here. Uh, we are going to. Actually, it's quite a ways to get to the gas station, which is right here. And then that's the warehouse. That's the storage units. Maybe we'll just head up this road and hit up the Pizza World and uh, these businesses here. We'll see what the road's like. I thought the uh, gas station and storage units were a bit closer than that. Once we get to a quarter tank, we'll make the drive back and fill up again. It's 2.10 p.m. Oh, let's keep our blunt weapon out here. Oh, and our baseball bat is almost depleted. Yeah, a little bit left here, but we switched out to that shovel soon. my chance there. There we go. Some bright green running shoes. Oh, I see one back there. That's fine. And here we go. Pretty big group. I'll turn off the engine for this one. So we're already pretty close to us. Yeah, should probably take a beta blocker. Let's take a beta blocker now. That's the last one in this bottle. Got one coming up behind us. Probably gonna start seeing that exertion noodle soon. And 
a crawler. What do we got here? Anything good? Besides jackets? Oh, saw a map. Smoldra. I did find an annotated map for Murchridge as well in between episodes. So I've got that, uh, I think just in the car. Overheating it a little bit. This bat's gotta be almost done now. No, it's still holding out there in that last little bit. Oh, what we also got, speaking of maintenance, we did get our level 5 maintenance too. So weapons should be lasting a little bit longer. 3.30 now. Still have yet to get to the corner, and here is the corner. Okay, so... For this, I'm gonna switch out to the shovel. So would not be a surprise if the bat broke. Getting through this horde. Okay, so let's put our baseball bat back in our bag. We'll get the bat out. I don't know if we've used a shovel before in this episode season. And it doesn't look to be a uh, multi-hit weapon, which I'm not very, not really a big fan of. I might have to switch out to the axe. I was hoping this would be a multi-hit. Yeah, you know what? Well, let's not mess around here. Uh, I mean, we could use the bat until it breaks. Have to fall back quite a ways here. All right, let's use the bat until it breaks, and we'll switch out to the uh, axe if we need to. There's quite a few here, though. Just don't want this bat to break in a critical moment. Some uh, overalls here. Uh, denim shirt worn, overalls. Eh, pretty low condition. I'm gonna grab them anyway. So our tailoring is high enough now that even with uh, a piece of clothing with holes in it, we can at least give it. 10 scratch and 5 bite defense. So, as long as there's not too many holes, I think I'd be fine. Let's take a look. Uh, did we go in our backpack? I can't even remember where we put it. Yeah, let's take a look here. Yeah, hole in the shin. Alright, we can live with that. Uh, we're a little bit peckish too, so let's. Oh, actually, our food is in the car. We'll have to test out some of the other shovels. Maybe it's this, just this one that's single hit. Oh, that's a pretty big group there. Um. Baseball bat, it's super low. Okay, let's get the axe out. Yep, 
Well, we got a, f you know, a fair bit of XP into our our long blunt. We got like a, almost a third of the way to level three. It's not too bad. Okay. Switch out to the axe. We'll switch back for maybe smaller groups. Oh, we're panicking quite a bit. It's not helping us out. Gonna tire us out more. Get a fresh bottle. Yeah, that exertion's kind of slowing us down here. quickly we're good oh close one we're at the rest after this though Took a lot longer than it should have. Let's check for more pills. Yeah, there's a few jackets in there. Oh, uh, the earbuds. I might take those. We'll dismantle those later. Okay, well, we uh, made it to the corner. It's 6 p.m. though, and we are starting to get tired and we're exhausted. High exertion. All right, we're gonna sit down. Oh, no, we're not actually. I'll have to take care of him first. And one more. Okay. Let's go sit down. Gonna have some vitamins as well. Uh, we could have our hot cuppa. I think I'm going to save that, though, for a more dire situation. Finish this bottle. Alright, water's getting low. Let's switch that out to our backup. Okay, let's put this empty one back in. Let's put our basal bat in the trunk, actually. There's my other bat I went through. Uh, I mean, we do have the sledgehammer. We might try that someday. Anything else we want to drop off here while we're sitting? How many are you here? Still a pretty big group. And we're a bit hungry, so we do need that food too. Alright, sneak into the car. Let's eat this. Drop that off. Frying pan. 
Okay, so exertion's gone. I think we just take care of the uh, the ones in this area. Then we'll have to come back in the morning. So as far as I got in between episodes, and uh, doesn't look like we're gonna get much further right now. Still, uh, quite a few around the corner, though. And our exertion's back, so I might have not even be able to clear all these. Maybe just this group. Just away from that tree. I didn't quite make it all the way so I'll cut back in the morning and hopefully we can pick up right here uh, I may have to do some more clearing up behind us though but we shall be back all right we're back next morning uh, just cooking up a meal for us before we head out again and you're gonna listen to the broadcast here just interested to see if there's gonna be any rain so our crops do kind of need some water uh, I still have some water in the rainbow collector, but it'd be nice if we had a fresh rainfall. Looks it's still warm enough out. Humidity 0.41, that's pretty high. Maybe we'll get some rain. Light fog. Tomorrow, high of 5. Mild wind. 28. Winds, thick, oh, thick fog tomorrow. All right, uh, sorry to predict tomorrow night. Showers, heavy rain, or snowfall. Okay, good. So we're getting some rain tomorrow. Tomorrow night, and uh, with it being a heavy fog tomorrow, we might not be going out. Might be too foggy. So our crops here, we got 93 hours to go to the next growth phase for potatoes. Then we'll be able to harvest. We have 33 hours to go for young broccoli, and then we'll have another growth stage after that. Our cabbage, this is our second round of cabbage, 25 hours. And then the next growth stage, so we got a few growth stages left there. So it's going to be a while still, another week at least until we have our next harvest. Uh, that's fine. Okay, I think we are good to go. I grabbed us some new weapons. So I've got a spare axe in our backpack. And then in the trunk, I picked up our canoe paddle, which we brought down from the main base. Got another baseball bat here. And then a spear with an ice pick. So we'll stick with the axe for right now. But uh, we might try and switch out to that paddle once we get through the first group of zombies. Also filled up with gas in the car here, so we're back to a full tank. All right, I'll do a quick edit here and we'll cut back. Oh, actually we got zombies already. Oh, it's never ending. Always gotta clear some out. Let's do this as quick as we can. I might just skip through the drive, so I'm sure there'll be some water on the road uh, filled back in. So, pop a pill, kill this one, and then we shall cut back once we're back where we left off. So we'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back, back at the corner, and uh, it doesn't look too bad actually. I'm going to leave the car here. Let's just turn it off. 
Uh, there was a few zombies on the way up here, but not too many. Um, actually, as I was driving down, I forgot. I remember that I forgot to grab the uh, stir fry that I was making out of the oven, so I had to rush back, turn the oven off. Obviously, it was burnt, so I just have some raw cabbage and uh, have some dog food, which I've already dug into today and taken my antidepressants. So <laughs> there's that. I got too excited to get back out here and forgot about our meal. That's okay, though. With our farm going, I feel like we'll, we'll be fine for food. I am also trying to trap as well. Not sure how successful we'll be with that uh, since we're in winter. But I do have a couple trap crates set up uh, just behind the bargain clothing store. So hopefully... We can catch some rabbits. Supplement our our farm. And it is 1.30, so we're already in the afternoon. As we attempt to uh, at least clear this corner. There does appear to be quite a few, though. Hopefully it'll go pretty quickly though with the axe. Just like that. Let's call him out over here. Let's get this party started. Our voice actually carries quite a ways. All the way across the uh, highway there. It's a relatively new axe, so I'm not really worried about it running out during this encounter. And there we go, there's that group. Alright, let Gerald cool down a bit. And now here's the next big group, and there's our turn off. At the very least. Quite a few here, though. We'll go as far as this axe will allow us. I could shout here. But maybe we should try and thin this group out a bit first. So I don't really know how many are just in the tree line that may also hear us. We could do some swings in the air to get some of their attention. Again, trying to keep them off the road as much as possible, at least the middle of the road, where I will be driving. Get a few of them come up. Uh, screwdriver, we could probably do without. Let's grab the jewelry for our collection. And I think we could probably shut these guys over now. Alright, cool down, Gerald. Got a bit of a workout coming up here. Let's keep checking behind us. Who knows? That, what that show would have attracted. Oh, great, and now we're exerted. Right, let's get through this group, then we'll rest. Perfect. Okay, smoke and a rest. We're gonna leave our car back there. 
The less attention it draws, the better. Just have a seat here. Let's check around us. We're fine. Have some of this ginseng that we've been holding on to. Speed up that recovery. Actually, it took care of our little bit of hunger, too. Alright, so exertion is gone. Let's wait another 10 minutes. We'll go till 3 30. <laughs> Starting to panic from being outside a little long. Take care of that with a beta blocker. Even the uh, the sight of having the beta blocker in hand is enough to calm Gerald's nerves. Okay, it's 3.30. Back at it. Let's actually take a look at our temperatures. Yeah, we've cooled down nicely. We're super insulated. So I kind of wanted to uh, get colder out. So we can fight for longer periods of time without actually overheating. Is that one dead? Yeah. Well, we've made it to the turn. The second turn. I say we take care of this group, then we can uh, see how bad it looks down the road. I see one large group. Good, halfway through that group. We won't shout here though. Because we're a little bit close to the other group. I don't want to draw too big of a horde. Jack. One coming out of the woods there. Come on. Hear my axe swing. And we're a bit hungry, so take care of these, head back to the car, get some food. Perfect. Alright, let's get back to the car. We can rest and eat there. Take a shortcut across the grass here. And there's one more. We might be able to bring the car up a little bit now that we've cleared out a good, good bit of area. It can be slow going. You gotta be patient. Alright, so we're out of this water. Let's drop that off. And let's pull out our backup. I need to get some more uh, water bottles in this car. I got the water dispenser. Uh, let's go with the cabbage. Okay, good. Well fed. Turn that on. You know what? I'm gonna crank that down. Keep it chilly in the car. Since it's quite a bit warmer in here than outside. Alright, let's pull over here.
Got some food in our belly. A little bit of an extra rest there. That short drive up. Doesn't look like anyone else hurt the car. So that's good. Oh no, some back here did. All right, 10 after five. It's crazy, like, a whole afternoon just to get, like, what, like, 30 yards <laughs> from the night before. That one's kind of in the middle of the road. Let's move them off. So we could do, uh, I guess, two of one of two things here. We could try and work on this group, or we just drive down and see what the uh, pizza world looks like, or one of three things: we drive down this way and see what the gas station looks like, and then drive back. I'd I kind of want to go more to the gas station and the warehouses out here. But uh, I suppose we should clear out a decent distance along this road so that we just don't draw zombies to the highway, the main highway, every time we drive back and forth. So maybe we'll clear this group here. And then uh, aim to head towards the gas station and the warehouse. This is a, a good size. Ah, there's actually a couple of good size groups. Hmm. Could do a burn. On the corner here. That might be a good idea. It's been a long time since we've done a burn. A few months at least. And I could leave one of the cars running as a sound to draw them in. Won't use the ambulance, I don't want to lose the siren on that. But we could use one of the other vehicles. Or just use the, well, I'm not really sure how it works. Like, I think they'll only damage the siren, the light bar, on emergency vehicles. But if the light bar isn't on, are they still gonna damage it? That, I'm not sure of. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Gerald. Evil Gerald. <laughs> got our same helmet. He's even got our same haircut. Oh boy, Evil Gerald. Alright, I should take something as a souvenir from Evil Gerald. And your helmet. Oh, we are full. Alright, well, let's eject this magazine. I can switch out to our hand axe. Secondary. Grab that. Grab that. Drop that. Grab the helmet. Kill this one, and then we'll drop off stuff in the car. We need a cool down period anyway. I turn that off. Okay. Let's go cool down and drop the stuff off. I think we can do it a couple more hours here. 
27. So we're not going to be out tomorrow because of the thick fog. Dump that here. I have another cabbage. I'm just going to turn this on and use the AC to cool us down. Just crank it. Keep an eye out. Let's have some vitamins. Stay awake here. Starting to panic again. We'll take another beta blocker. Alright, good. And let's shut that off. Let's go up the road. Now that we got a little bit of a uh, cover of night or dusk. We could probably get pretty close to uh, Pizza World. At least see what that parking lot's like. I've got another biker here. Actually, it's very close. It's right here. Well, I'm grabbing your helmet. Already have that blue one as well, but... Since the bicycle helmets are the, uh, or the motorbike helmets are the best, I might as well grab them all. Okay, so... We got what looks like... Uh, not survivor vehicles. I do see a key on the ground there. Got a sizable group here. Sizable group back there. Doesn't look like anyone inside. Let's just check the hood here. Okay, so I guess we consider this a survivor vehicle still. Old muffler, regular brakes, regular suspension. Okay, cool. Well, we know that there's at least uh, some car parts to take here. Let's head back down. So this was a lot closer than I expected, or I remembered. And the gas station and warehouses are a lot farther away than I remembered. There is a police station downtown. That would be good to go to. Uh, hardware store, obviously another key location that we'd want to get to at some point. Another gas station downtown. Uh, what else? The school? Could find some... Oh, what would we even look for at the school? Maybe any books that we're still missing. I mean, we have lots of the best bags, so we don't really need the school for that stuff. Oh, God. Careful there. Alright, well, let's head back. We got a little bit of time left in this episode. We're not going to be going out tomorrow in the thick fog. We'll have to figure out some stuff to do around home. Maybe do some tailoring. So I will uh, edit through this little drive, which should be fairly uneventful. And we'll cut back at home. Okay, back home here. Uh, let's see, I got this tin can I gotta get rid of. Let's go down and dump that in the trash. Don't need any of that stuff, so we'll delete that. And, anything else we need to do down here? I don't think so. Our generator's still good for a while. We're 50% full on that rain collector. 33 on that one. Okay. 
So what are we going to do tomorrow? Some, st some stitching and some tailoring. So we've got 129 dirty leather strips. We've got 30 leather strips. That's That should be more than enough. We can stitch up some of these other pieces of clothing we've got sitting here. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, I'm going to get to sleep. We'll cut back in the morning. And look at that. we got some snow. Snow in the morning. Now, I don't think this stuff... This stuff, this snow... Oh, actually, it does go into the rainbow collector. So, oh, so we still get some precipitation that way. Interesting. It's probably just a, a lesser amount. Oh, and it counts for watering the crops. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, well, we'll continue growing stuff then. Uh, morning cigarette... I don't know when this uh, fog is supposed to roll in. Seems pretty clear out there right now. Uh, let's go check the generator, see what its fuel level is. It was going down pretty slow though, so it should be fine. Yeah, it's still 71%. And this has been going for over a week. Yeah, over a week. Pretty bare bones setup we got here, though. I brought over some branches and twigs uh, so we can keep this place warm. If it gets uh, super cold outside, seems to be fine for right now, though. Let's drop off Gerald, Evil Gerald's bandana. And. See this necklace. I actually have a bag out here for all our jewelry that we're picking up. Okay, let's do some tailoring. I don't want to go out and get caught out in a fog. Um, we'll turn on the radio. Just make sure the fog is still forecasted for today. Alright, so leather strips. Grab those. Our needle our 43 spools of thread, which we could probably combine down. Oh yeah. Let's combine a few of these. Uh, it's gonna take forever to do that. Uh, let's see, maximum of five. Expect something expected, probably rainfall. Thick fog, tomorrow, period of weather, heavy, uh, this evening, heavy rain. Yeah, here the fog setting in now. Uh, mild wind, something expected, some weather period predicted to end in the morning, expected showers and or heavy rain, chance of snow, okay. So it should be snowing throughout the day. Maybe get some rain later on. All right, so let's grab this denim shirt and jeans. I think these jeans are already padded up, but we do have better stats now, so we can remove those. Uh, these ones we can probably also repad. 715. I guess we haven't done anything with these ones. Okay. So we'll pad those ones up. We'll pad these gloves up. Pad the pants. Uh, the overalls will do if I haven't done already. The Ranger jacket. And this Biffo apron. And this tank top. Actually, we'll do all these. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let's start with the pants here. We'll remove these patches. Get our skills open here. So we're just starting into level six. We'll remove all these. 
with a level 5, we now have a 35% chance of getting a uh, patch back when we remove them. Alright, so let's repad that. So let's go to 15 and 30. So two extra scratch defense, one extra bite from what it was before with the prior patches. Okay, cool. That one's done. Put that back on the rack. Let's do this one. Up to 25 now. Snow has stopped. And, oh, has the fog stopped? Fog cleared up as well. Oh, maybe we can go back out. Well, we're almost at the end of the episode anyway. I thought it was going to be a whole day thing. Alright, that's all padded up. I'll just do a few more of these. Alright, well, there's drips onto our gloves. Good. Put that down. We are 560 of 3,000. Start with some of these camel pants. We'll do the overalls after this and then we'll call it a day. And just slowly keep working towards level six. So there's nothing really stopping us from uh, getting that done now. We have so much thread. And I'm tempted to actually wear these instead of our camel pants. So this gives us some uh, extra, well, extra padding up top, but we already have 100% protection up there. So maybe it doesn't matter as much. Maybe our current loadout is good enough. Okay, so there's the overalls done. Cause if I here, let's um let's get open our protection. Let's see if anything change anything else increases by wearing these instead of our camel pants. Uh I guess our bite defense went up, is that right? Yeah, actually it goes up quite a bit with the overalls. Oh, and um, something's torn. Replace overalls with overalls. Hold on. Close. So I already wearing the overalls. Uh, replace. Oh, I put the wrong pair on. Yeah, I put the wrong pair of overalls on. These ones are torn up. Okay, well, I'm going to patch these ones up. Uh, that'll do it for today, guys. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We got our first glimpse at the very outskirts of West Point today. Uh, we'll continue working our way into town. And uh, eventually we will get to that gas station and the warehouses. Hopefully find some more good loot there. We'll continue farming since it's uh, letting us farm. It is raining now, so I might uh, wash some of these dirty strips that we've got. And we'll pick up next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.